Hello my dear teachers and also my dear learners and majorly this tutorial will be based on my colleague teachers I'm Mr. Michael Samuel or Michael Samuel teacher on my YouTube channel you can get me by that name Today I prepare something special for you I know in most cases you want to prepare or set up an exam and that is in mathematics and maybe you have come upon some question that involve fraction that makes fraction proper frac improper fraction and proper fraction and also involving curly brackets square brackets and also rounded brackets and then you have this kind of a question you want to type for exam and it should actually look elegant like this one here so we have this kind of a question how can you be able actually to type it how can you be able to type this kind of question the way it is and similarly you might have this kind of a question so the appropriate one and which looks elegant and presentable even for your learners to do it they they don't have a lot of question to ask how if you type it this way actually it will confuse the student or the learner but this is the right way to type it in most cases i know most of teachers avoid this part and maybe you have given it for typing so this is how actually it should be actually so i will show you on how to go about it or now to type either in on word document or also in powerpoint they are similar the way to do it is just similar so i will start from the beginning and show you on how to do all of this so let us start with the first one so this is the first one evaluate how can you actually do this so the right thing is now i've just created a space for the for the purpose of this presentation so from here to begin with insert to insert then from there go to the top right corner where we have equation click on equation then you can see this a text box actually has pop up type equation here the other way is actually to use a shortcut key that is alt equal alt equal to just automatically introduce this uh, text box so you have to type your equation here so let me increase the font size for the purpose of this tutorial i will increase the font size then i will start typing so we have one over two then space then enter the uh, opening curly bracket then three over five space then plus then one over four space open the rounded bracket then seven over three space minus three over seven space close the rounded bracket and space so for the rounded bracket it has actually resides itself then space of then one space one over two space then divide click on the top there and then five then close the curly bracket and space that's how automatically you do it that's wow next we can try also we have the other one how can you also type this so for this case we still use the same same thing so i'm going to use the shortcut key that is alt equal to enter the equation mode then allow me to increase the font size then from there i will also actually do the same thing so here we have to type now we have the the numerator and the denominator so for the numerator i will enclose it with the brackets 
So open the bracket 1 over 2 space then plus then 1 over 3 space then close the bracket over space. So it decreases the denominator part of it then 1 over 7 space of open the bracket 2 over 3 space then minus 1 over 6 close the bracket and space so that's how it looks nice that's how it is so about font size it's a matter you can be able to adjust to the required font size so next one we have evaluate also this kind of equation so let us see what we have the same thing we are going to do here we enter alt equal to enter the equation mode then increase the font size so from here begin by how can we write this so from the beginning i'll start with that bracket then minus 12 then divide by divide by 3 times 4 minus open the bracket minus 15 close the bracket since i started with a bracket also i'll add another bracket then over and i press it so that now i have the denominator part minus 5 then times 2 plus open the bracket 5 close the bracket and that is it that's how we go about it the other one actually which is also very important and this one also i'll do the same thing let me enter the equation mode alt equals so this is what i have now also then we have the denominator part so i must when typing i must include opening and closing bracket for the numerator part so open the bracket 2 over 5 space then divide by 1 over 2 space of 4 over 9 space minus 1 space 1 over 10 space close the bracket all over and press the space button then we get to the denominator so we have 1 over 8 space minus 1 over 6 space then multiply by 3 over 8 space that's how we type this kind of mathematics questions not tired also still we have more to go about so we also have the other one alt equals to enter the equation mode then from there open the bracket 7 space 1 over 5 space times 2 over 3 space close the bracket over so you have the denominator part which is 9 space 3 over 5 space then use the right arrow key to advance forward then divide by 1 space 2 over 5 space that's how we go about this kind of questions so i still have more and which actually now which is also very important so we'll end also the equation mode so from here alt equals that the shortcut key 
so I have also this part which is numerator and denominator so in that case I'll start with opening bracket then 81 then raise to 2x space then times 27 raised to x space close the bracket over and press the space bar button over 9 raised to x space then equals to 729 that's how you type this kind of equation you can see it is very easier to do so then the other one lastly which i'm going to do is this one also enter the equation mod alt equals let me increase the font size then i have three seven three space seven over eight then from this particular point something which is very important the square root sign so for the square root sign we get the top here we have this point written radical so i click on it and then we have these uh, different and roots symbols so i click on the first one with the square root then from here I, I activate this box by clicking on it then at the top here i can see this as brackets so i'll start with a bracket and also the top part which is the numerator i will also include another bracket so that will be open the bracket again another bracket for the numerator part then three space seven over eight space then divide by seven space three over four space close the bracket and then over so we get to this point now so from here i have five space one over ten space plus two space nine over ten space then from there i close the bracket and space so that's how it looks like thank you so much for watching i hope you have learned something new i'm mr michael samuel i like to give more information to my colleague teachers so don't fail to subscribe if you haven't you can also comment down there and also share to your colleague teachers thank you so much see you in the next tutorial video